it is said that the Philippines is part of the Typhoon Belt of the Pacific. True enough, the Philippines is located in the east of Pacific Ocean which is active in terms of creating various typhoons. In fact, an average of about 20 typhoons hit the Philippines every year and some of which are very destructive. But are you curious how these weather systems are created? Hi! In this lesson, we will be discussing the different weather systems in the Philippines. It is the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA of the Department of Science and Technology which is responsible for studying the weather in the country. With the technology such as weather satellites and radars, PAGASA can accurately predict the weather systems. They forecast weather systems daily through daily weather bulletins and rainfall forecasts. Now, what are the different weather systems in the Philippines? These are Cyclone, Breeze, Monsoons, and IPCZ. A cyclone is a large and violent whirlwind observed in different parts of the Earth. Tropical areas such as the Philippines use the term tropical cyclones. These cyclones bring violent winds and thunderstorms to the affected areas. Cyclones are categorized based on wind speed. These are tropical depression, tropical storm, severe tropical storm, and typhoon. But because of the effects of Typhoon Yolanda, a new category, Super Typhoon, was coined. Cyclones are said to be born over bodies of water and dies over land masses. The wind which blows onto the shore from the sea during daytime and away from the shore during nighttime are called breezes, which can be classified into two, sea breeze and land breeze. Sea breeze happens at daytime where warm air rises and the cooler air above the sea moves towards land. On the other hand, land breeze are winds which blow onto the shore from the sea during daytime and away from the shore during nighttime. A breeze in a larger scale is called a monsoon. Monsoon winds are stronger than ordinary breezes as they are formed by extremely high temperatures in coastal areas. Hanging Amihan is a term used in the Philippines for the Northeast Monsoon. It usually comes in October until February of the following year where it brings rains mainly in the southern part of the country. The Southwest Monsoon is called Hanging Habagat. The wind of Hanging Habagat comes from high pressure area of Australia. It also brings rains all over the Philippines from May to September. Monsoons causes the formation of low pressure area or LPA. Another common weather pattern in the Philippines is the Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ. It is a group of clouds which brings weak to moderate rains and few thunderstorms. It forms due to the clashing winds coming from the northern and southern hemisphere. It may sometimes cause flush floods to the lower areas of the country. Interestingly, the ITCZ moves north in the northern hemisphere during summer and south during cold season. Hence, it is the ITCZ which is responsible for the wet and dry seasons in the countries near the equator such as the Philippines. Two other weather patterns observed in the Philippines are El Niño and La Niña. El Niño is a Spanish term for the little boy or Christ child. This phenomenon is a result of a wide-scale interaction of the ocean and the atmosphere, usually in the Pacific Ocean. It is characterized by the unusual and periodic warming of the sea surface. At present, the term is used to describe irregular and extreme climate changes. It happens every 2 to 7 years with its peak around the month of December. La Nina is characterized by unusually cold temperatures of the ocean and seas around the equatorial region. It is known as the cold phase of the El Nino Southern Oscillation 
or Enzo cycle with El Nino as a warm face. La Nina in the Philippines is characterized by prolonged periods of rain which causes floods and landslides mainly in Mindanao and other parts of the country. How do these weather systems affect the country? There are weather systems which specifically occur in the Philippines. Oftentimes, these weather systems have devastating effects. These include landslide, severe flooding, drought, growth of disease, and death. In the next lesson, we will describe the motion of the Earth, so make sure to subscribe to this channel for more science videos. Thank you, and always remember that you are all awesome.